Hi everybody, it's Sasa Kaptos. Okay, today I'm going to show you step by step how to make this uh, album here that I made. I loved it how it turned out. So I'm going to do like a series so you guys don't get overwhelming. have to do it one day so you guys just, you know, next video I can check that and the next video not just like have to skip forward and look which part is I'm doing. So yeah, let's start doing that. Okay, I'm going to doing that. So I'm going to tell you what you will need to make this album so you will need the chipboard to make the cover so this one a medium weight chipboard you need two of those and you will need uh, of course the envelope this black envelope six uh six by nine inches i cut in half so i need i use only one and a half the envelope i think this is a perfect size so you need two, two of that if you need this paper, this paper be happy from the paper house at Michael's. If you are interested in buying it, Michael does carry this one. And then the cardstock black paper. So say an envelope with black, so I want to use that black to match. So this one is 65 pounds, 176 grams. So recommend using this at Michael because the thickness, anything that's 65 uh, so it's 176 gram is good. Listen, that is too weak to make, guys. So I use um, I used to have a Hobby Lobby do not a little bit not too thick like Michael recommended, and I recommend using a scoreboard to score everything. You know why? If you're not using it to score um, your paper. You know, if you score by hand, it's, it's not lie up straight because some of the top, like smaller, the bottom is bigger, is your album not gonna put it together, right? Okay. You need your cutter, that's it. And the glue, you can use this uh, score tape, but I recommend using the tacky glue, Aline, is perfect. So now I'm going to tell you the measurement, what pieces measurement. Alright, so you will cut this, I'm going to tell you the album. The cover, the shipboard pieces, you will cut 6 by 5 and 6 inches by 5 and a quarter, 2 pieces of this and your 1 piece of this 6 by 2 and 3 quarter, you will need this. Alright, and On this, uh, this flap, the measurement on this flap, okay. So this is five seven eight by six and a half, and you will score three quarter and four and one quarter. So you will need these six pieces because each envelope is two, so you need total six of these, okay. And then for this one, this one is uh, this piece. Okay, so this is four, four and a quarter by three and a half. You will score half inch. So you will need six pieces of this. And for this piece here, if you can see this piece, all right. So this is seven and three quarter by three and three eight score at half inches three and five and a half. So you need um, six pieces of it. And for this piece, this piece is up here. Okay. The it you the same side. Okay. So this one is nine and three quarter by four and a quarter. You will need uh, twelve pieces of this. You score at half inches and six and a quarter. Yeah, you need twelve pieces of this, and you will need three pieces of this. This one is a photo mat on the side here. Okay. So this one is five and three quarter by. Five. You need three pieces of this. 
a photo mat. You need three. And then a binding system. So this one is five seven eight by four and a half. You score both sides at three quarter inch. All right. And then this one second piece is five seven eight by three and a half. Again, you will score three quarter inch. And this one one and three quarter by seven uh, five seven eight. You score three and a half inch. All right. So. Yep, all of these that you need to cut. All of this piece. I know that's a lot. It will keep you busy a little while to, to do the, the material and all the measurement. And then let me see how long is it? The video? Okay, guys, so back. So I decided to tell you the measurement, the paper, pattern paper. You want to cover all this. So this is the photo mat measurement, right? So you want to cut all your. I like to cut my photo mat like um, all around area is um, 178 so that mean is uh, a quarter inch shorter from this side so this original paper it 5 inches by uh, 5 and 3 quarters so I cut this one is half inch is side here so that's mean this one will be four and three quarter by five and a half so you need six pieces of this for this one for the mat and for this one you would this is different this is the same size but this one a different size so you will need this piece one uh three three one eight by two and a quarter you need total of this piece is 12 pieces and this piece you will need 318 by 2 inches you need 6 pieces of this on on this one this side here you will see some of I use this so if you use the paper like I do for my goals they come with this you just cut it out and trim it to fit on this see like this one I, I love it loved it uh, saying so yeah, you should cut this one and trim it off and use those so to make that look. And then this piece, this one right here. So you will need the paper that you need on this one right here. You will need five and a half by four. So you will need twelve pieces of this. And for this one, you will need. Three and a quarter by four. You need twelve pieces as well. Okay. And this one you will need uh, four inches by two and three quarter. You need twelve pieces of this. All right. And this one, a side flap here. Okay. So you will need a uh, five and five eight by three inches. Twelve pieces. And on this side, you will need five, uh, five and five eight by two. You need twelve pieces of this. And then for this one inside, like this one here, between here, right here, you can see that you will need a uh, let's see five and a half by three quarter in two pieces and you need five and a half by um, half inch both side between here okay and then for the cover paper as I said this one is should be five and three quarter by five inches you need four pieces because you need one inside and the other side and this one you need five and three quarter by two and a half you need only one piece and then you will need the charm okay so what you what I like to do is I use a wet glue here and glue my on my paper down on my pieces down 
so you want to lay flat and use something that heavy to uh, put this one like down like your mop parts or whatever so make it straight uh, flat down there so you want to do all that after you done that tomorrow we're gonna put it together put the envelope together not the binding part yet but because this one you need to go put it into um, this I'm gonna show you how I do it okay so yeah that's it for today guys so tomorrow you guys can hang out with me so I'm gonna post this uh, video series every day until we're done with this album uh, 6 in the morning uh, my schedule time on my album so you will need this one to make a crochet if you do you can use anything else and you will need two more uh, extra jumbling jump ring all right guys that's it thank you everybody for watching and leave your comment and give me a thumb and thumb up and what you think about my uh, mini album series and i will see you guys tomorrow so don't forget tomorrow when i come back you i want you to cover all your your pieces with the photo mat all right all your photo mat okay all right that's it and i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye i love you all